Hello everyone, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel and my fifth installment of kind of redoing of my top fives. But here's the thing. I went to write up for my fifth video, which is top my wish list of top five pens, and I couldn't fit it into one. I have a top five and then I actually have a whole wish list just for one brand of pens. So this actually isn't going to be the last video in the series. There's going to be an extra one next week because I just couldn't get there. This is top five in general, and then next week, and it will become obvious at the end, I reckon, it's going to be top five wish list of just one brand. This ink is Monteverde Mango Mousse, which is a really cool orange that has some really nice shading. Let's jump into it. My first uh, thing on my wish list, and this isn't in any order, it's just the top five absolutely, is a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. I've never tried, um, I've never had a Sailor. I very briefly tried one at a Melbourne pen show, a uh, pen posse meetup, um, and I absolutely loved it. So I really would love to be able to save up to purchase one one day. And the one that's leading that I think I like the most is the top colour with a medium fine nib. Next up, not so much a pen, but very much on my wish list is to get a, a pen um, that's made from the primary manipulation blank in the pastel. So primary manipulation pastel, there's the PM1 through 4, and then I think there's, there's a few others, but the pastel one looks absolutely beautiful. I watched a Karina Loves to Plan video. She has a pastel one and fell in love. I love it every time she she uses it in any other video because I just love looking at it. So that is very much high on my list. Um, I know one uh, pen maker in Australia, Just Turnings, he does do PM blanks and he has some um, some of his Yovo nibs are like a fine flex. Maybe that could be a cool thing to include. But it, you know, it doesn't, not saying it has to be just turnings, but just being able to have a primary manipulation pastel blank turned into a pen is very much on my list. Third up, it's also not necessarily a pen, but a cursive italic nib. At a, at a, men, a pen, blah, 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 at a Melbourne pen posse meetup I went to recently, I tried a couple cursive italic nibs and they were incredible. Um, all the ones I tried were like custom grind ones that people had gotten over their years of collecting, but it was such an amazing writing experience that I think this is a bit of a pipe dream at the moment, but definitely on there. I would love to one day be able to have a pen with a, a cursive italic nib. Do, do, do. Oh, I'll do this one first. Next up and going back to a brand is a Bennu. They're so awesome. They're so colourful and sparkly and kind of really interesting shapes. And I just think they look amazing. Um, and I'd love to, to save up and buy one one day. I haven't completely locked in, but I think my top two contenders are either the Jolanda or the Caviar. This one is purple and the Caviar is like a black with silver shimmer. I think this one has the gold shimmer. And they're actually different... Um, shapes as well but those two are the ones I like. Looking at different people's videos um, I actually just watched one um, that Simone did and looking I wonder if the talisman is going to be a bit too big but I with the the kind of hexagonal hexagonal looking ones I, I'm also interested in how that fits in the hand. Um, I've only thus far found one uh, business in Australia that stocks Bennu um, but that's not to say I can't buy it from overseas uh, but it's, again, it's, I think most of these are like long-term wish list things, things that I'd have to save up for, for a, a really long time. If you've watched some of the previous videos in this series, uh, for me, one of my must-haves is a budget. Um, it's, you know, cost of living has just gone crazy at the moment. And I'm just really aware of, of loving this hobby, but also how expensive it can be. But a girl can dream. One, two, three, four. Finally, Franklin, you know what it is. A Franklin Christoph. This, I'm pretty sure this one was included in my first round of videos, but that vintage green colour, the M20, that pocket pen in that vintage green, it is this, it just reminds me of almost like gemstones, that green. It is so beautiful. Every time I see it, 
on Instagram or in a video or whatever. I just think it is the most gorgeous color. Um, so one day if I'm able to pick up one up secondhand, um, I, I, I'd feel really lucky and really happy with that. So there you have it. These are my top five pen wish lists of a variety of brands. Let me know in the comments below what's the next wish list going to be. What brand is glaringly missing from here that you go, oh, she's going to have a whole wish list just for that brand. Let me know in the comments below and you guys will be able to see soon if you're right or not. And, uh, you know, as I said at the beginning, it was supposed to be five videos, but I've broken my own rule. And so this isn't the final installment. There'll be one more, which is another pen wish list. And that will be the sixth and last. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll chat to you again soon. Bye.